turn the Pepsi around so there's no product placement. <laughs> I was gonna say, huh? Probably should have used this for like. So you're on tour with Niall Horn, mm -hmm. formerly of One Direction. Mm -hmm. Can you sing the line of One Direct of One One Direction song? Do you know any? Mm -hmm. The last song it was great. Okay. Can you sing a line of one of your songs as Cookie Monster? I know, I can do that perfectly. I don't know what I'm saying. It's a new song, why would it? I can't be Cookie Monster is like, I want cookie. I need to give them cookie. It's like cookie. It's kind of a mixture between like Yoda, Cookie Monster, and Louis Armstrong. And Chewy. Ch Chewy. Chewbacca. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so if you're like, I do it at the gate, so you're like, I need to the green. I kind of do that and then so. When did you discover your talent for being able to nail a Cookie Monster slash Louis Armstrong? Did a lot of pub gigs. Impression. A lot of pub gigs in Dublin. Okay. After like about four, a couple of drinks, you kind of. Yeah, to find more, some ways to entertain people. Entertain yourself. And you're like, <laughs> <laughs> three hour gigs, like, <laughs> you gotta find a funny thing to do in the middle. Um, what's the last show you binge watched? Do you even know what binge Stranger watching things, is? Yeah. I haven't finished Don't Tell Me Anything. No, I didn't watch any of season any two of yet. No, I watched one episode. You're ahead time. of me. Yeah, I No, no, I, uh, pretty sick, I'm sick. I was yeah. occupied seeing your show over the weekend, so oh, yeah. Stranger Things had to wait. It's so good. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to watch it. I need to, yeah, I need to get some Netflix going. Yeah. On the tour. Are you going to be in line to see new Star Wars? Are yeah, Star Wars I've again? seen the last one. Yeah, I only recently got into like two years ago. Cool. I watched all of them. Because you know when you watch them, you're younger and you can't remember them? I'd only seen like the four, no, the one, two, and three. You don't so watch never, them. Never no one watches them. those anymore, right? Like, yeah, the, the four, five, and six are the ones, aren't they? Exactly. You know? Exactly. But I only I watch, I binge watch that, actually. Mm -hmm. Totally binge watch that. And Harry Potter, from the new Harry Potter came out. Guess what? Watch the book. Never read a single book, never seen a single movie. How? So if I was gonna do one or the other, books or movie. I never, I never read the book. Okay, so. People do say the books are better. Okay. But I, I like to Maybe sit down and do nothing and eat pizza. And do you read while you're on the road? No, I need to get into it. Yeah. Really have to get into it. And, and yeah, my concentration is pretty bad. Like if I'm reading and like there's a Netflix thing, I'd be like, ah, no. Too busy writing your own songs too. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Well, I think if I read a lot, I get too smart and then like too lyrically smart. So, mm -hmm. Irish guy. I will say. Dublin. Yeah. What's in your pocket? Skill. <laughs> yeah, Dublin. So, you go back to Dublin, you go back to where you were born and raised. When you touch down, what's the first place you go to? Yeah, I go to my mom and dad's gaff house. Mm -hmm. Gaff. And um, go there, we say hi to my mom, I have a cup of tea with my mom. Then, if it's a Saturday, I'll go out to Temple Bar. Holla! Yes! You been to Dublin? Yes! That's where I used to work. I used to work there for four years. There's a hotel part of that too? Yeah, the morning. Yeah, stay there. Yeah, yeah. it's awesome. Double ride's my favorite. Yeah, really Great good. Pack. Very expensive, but still fine. I used to work there for like four years, but when yeah. I started off playing music, I kind of didn't leave school, but I kind of just didn't go in. People are just happier, right? Mm. They just Everybody's just super chill there. The Guinness yeah. is good. So, I I did like three weeks in, in Dublin or in Ireland. Did you do the coast thing? No, I didn't do anything touristy. I actually went. Yeah. My high school boyfriend's parents took in an exchange student from Ireland every year. Really? But this one guy, Kevin McDade, just kept coming back year after year. No so way. we wound up over there for his wedding. Oh, no way. In Londonderry. Oh, no way. So That's I wound cool. up sort of living there like. For a while, in a like, flat for like a week before we made our way down to Belfast and eventually into Dublin, but yeah, they were like, I was walking to a bar and they're a pub. Sorry, always they're like, I said, can I can I get a, a Guinness? And the guy says to me, you got two hands, go pour it yourself. Oh, and the, we're in London Dairy. I was like, what? They go do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's they're hard to do they're it. just so like did you, did you laid back. To do it properly? I did, yeah, and so I fun. learned how to drink my beer warm, my yeah. Guinness. Room temperature. It's meant to be kind of, uh, never meant to be freezing cold. And then I played Mary Had a Little Lamb on a very poorly tuned piano, and They're all that, was my, that was my experience. Yeah. I'm happy you learned the poor Guinness, because it's, it's the toughest thing over here to try to find. Because I always get in trouble. I was like, can I, can I, you didn't do it right. Yeah. You can't pour it all out at once. No. You know, it just tastes like the same amount, isn't it? 
arse. Tastes, tastes like arse. Tastes like arse. Tastes. This is Gavin James. Make sure you check him out. Gavin James official on Facebook. He's all over Twitter. Holla, let's finish our Skittles. Yeah. I'll be running around here in a minute. <laughs>